Do you happen to be living in a part of the world that is experiencing an incredibly hot summer? Well, I am. And I feel like everybody at some point happens to have a week or two that is just incredibly unbearably hot. And if you need something to cool you down a little bit, then why not try and play a game that takes place in a frozen tundra? I'm Zeon from Nintendo Life, and today we're going to be taking a look at a game called South of the Circle. This is a narrative-driven adventure game that takes place in the 1960s, in the Cold War era, and you're playing somebody who just crash-landed a plane in the middle of the Antarctic. Now, from what I've played of the game so far, the story really seems like the focal point, so I don't want to say much more than that. I'll just let the game speak for itself. And if you happen to like what you see, just know that the game is available now on the Nintendo Switch eShop for 10% off. And if you happen to own any other 11-bit studios games, you'll save an additional 15%, making it 25% off this game. And it's already not that expensive. I think it retails for $12.99. And there are a bunch of other 11-bit studios games on sale on the eShop as well. And this sale goes until August 8th until the end of the day. So like 2359 PT. But we'll leave the exact time right here so that way I don't mess it up. And this video is also sponsored by 11-Bit Studios, so thank you so much for giving us a chance to show off this game. So without further ado, let's get out into the snow. Let me throw on my earmuffs. You never, never go out into the cold without earmuffs, you know. <laughs> so here we are, crash landed in the Ant Ar Antarctic. Antarctic. Uh. So the big thing with this game, one of the biggest gameplay fo like focal points, is that you are given a lot of choice. From what I've played so far, it's not like there's necessarily quick time events, but you can see here it says hold on symbols to express their emotion. So that symbol there is telling us that you can feel panic, confusion, and concern, all just by holding the X button. Occasionally though, there'll be moments in the game where you get choices, so you can choose to express panic you can choose to express joy uh you can be calm and collected there's multiple different choices you get and the interesting thing though is that sometimes you only have so much time to determine what you're going to pick and then it all goes away and uh and i think that could lend itself really well to allowing you to play this game multiple times i don't know yet i have not played enough of this game to really talk about that but but we'll just we'll just get into it. Hey. And there's a lot of talking in this game, so I kind of I don't want to talk too much. Like I said, I really want the game to talk, to speak for itself. I want you to enjoy the game. Hey, hey, come on, wake up, uh, wake up. Uh, oh, thank God you're all right. Ah, I, God, my leg it's jammed. It's jammed in here. And you'll you'll notice too that the color actually of the emotion you're trying to express will change as well. So like this this blue color is caring and honest. Very human. I mean I guess all of the expressions you're going to feel are very human, but stuck under the bloody But now you can see it's not actually telling us anything I can do? It didn't it didn't say the things. Should be behind my seat. Give me a moment. So it's almost like the game kind of wants you to... What am I trying to say? It wants you to like express your feelings based on how you're feeling about like the... How you feel about the colors. Or maybe speak with colors almost in a way. I think that's kind of neat. painful. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, it's not gonna last forever though. Because then you don't entirely know what your character is going to say either. Hopefully not out of range of the radio mast. Yeah, so our characters have just crash landed in the Antarctic in the 1960s. Mayday, mayday, this is Alpha Romeo Lima. There are no cell phones. Crashed south of Deception. Coordinates roughly 82 south, 19 west. Hello, Faraday, do you read? And their radio might not even work. Do you think you can move? 
I don't think he can move. Uh, uh, well, that's your lot. Uh, puts pay to flying out of here. I'm good for nothing like this. And the plane's in no fit state either. Mm -mm. Oh, I reckon I saved her from the worst of it, actually. This plane ain't going anywhere. Getting her up again. Hey, 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 see that up there? We were about to fly over one of the British outposts, a deception point. That should be it there. But maybe they've got a doctor. Yeah, yeah I think I can see it. So can you make it? Make it? It's freezing out there. Well, you'd rather stay in this tin can and we both freeze to death? That's so far away, too. Uh, we, we, we could wait. Oh, come on, mate. What would you do in this scenario? Godmother's would you wait? Magically appear. Nobody knows we're here. Oh, come on, mate. I've done my best to get us down in one piece. Time to be a man, eh? And that is pretty terrifying, honestly. Like, I was thinking about that in my first... The first time I played through this little bit. How far away do you think it is? Was the idea of just, Five, like, no one knowing you're there, I think is completely horrifying. Can you make it? And people go through this. We don't really have a choice. Which is also terrifying. <laughs> I don't mean to scare people. That's not what I mean. Just, it's just, it feels like a very real story. How will I find my way back? Uh, uh, there might be you know, I don't here. base, I don't think this is based on true events. But. I think this qualifies. Yeah. Flares. Keep an eye out and I'll open this window and send one up on the hour. I hope you get your bearings. Hey, hey, you here? I'm here. I'm here. Just don't lose yourself out there, okay? Just keep straight. I'll be back as soon as I can. You just mind that leg. Yeah, thanks. Hey, you watch out, okay? It's 10 below zero. Oh, thanks. Wish me luck. I like that the game really just like lets you kind of soak in your decisions as well. Like I don't have, to, I'm not forced to push the B button right now. I'm just, we can just sit in this plane as long as you want. And this might be like the last moment that these characters get to like enjoy some peace. British luck. The sound design too is, I love. I really love this. So we get to move around now. No, we don't want to trace back. <laughs> we don't want to trace back. I was going to try to do a little circle. Really make make a circle on the ground. So we'd be, the plane would be south of the circle. Bad joke. Bad time for a joke. There's like a watchtower of sorts almost, or I guess maybe it's a signal for the planes. What do you think of that transition? When that when that first happened, I was like, yeah. I think I'm gonna like this game. Oh, here, let me help. Oh, I think I can manage. No, honestly, it's fine. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh dear. Let me give you a hand. Oh no, no, no. I, I can do it. Um It's easier with both of us, don't you think? Um, on three. So I didn't pick one, an option that time, two, which is three. really cool. Because I didn't want to be oh, negative. That's my fault. It's too we many books. We didn't have to be. That's what's in we here. We didn't have to. Oh. Well, uh, there you go. 
teamwork. This not a problem. The at light all. blue teal, like green, is caring. Thank you. Right. right um, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, do you join me? Well, I don't think you'd have much luck finding another free carriage. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah let's you. do that. You don't mind if I do. Your work? My students. They haven't learned the art of editing just yet. Mm. Still, someone's got to mark it. Editing. Fun. You're, you're marking all of that. I'm not trying to. I can't complain. When I was a student, my professor said to me, you don't expect me to mark all that, do you? So I won't complain now they're handing me all this. Well, um... Feel free to complain to me if it helps. I cannot tell you how <laughs> much I learned. Thank you. Have learned from editors over the years. Uh, long journey? My writing would be nothing. Yes. <laughs> nothing All the way without. from Edinburgh. Where are you headed? Cambridge. And you are too, I can see that. I just got to visit Cambridge recently. It's, it's the tie. It's the tie, isn't it? <laughs> it's not that. No. I prefer Priestley's ideas about weather patterns, personally. I beg your pardon. Your book it fell out onto the seat. Oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Would you mind if I take a look? Oh, yes. There you go. <clears throat> the formulation of complex cloud patterns, G.B. McNeil. I found it rather heavy going myself. So now we know the sun is enthusiastic, curious, interested. You, you've read it. I had to set this one Excited. for my undergraduates. Not that any of them probably read the bloody thing. The fact that you've got it on you makes me think you're not a student. Mm. You're lecturing too. Deceptive. Right? <laughs> Likewise. Uh, how long have you been here? It'll be my second year. Uh, Peter, how do you do? Oh, Clara, how do you do? Low switch battery. Oh, no. Your uh, bookmark. What perfect oh, oh, timing. Uh, don't worry, it's just a. Just you're playing my switch too much, I guess. Oh, your uh, your telegram. Ah, Sorry. Ah. It's nothing. Just something from my professor. Uh oh. Oh no. Sorry, I should I have said nothing. See, that was a. What are you doing looking at my telegram? Ah, ah, ah. It's completely fine, really. <sighs> Defense. Defended it. It's totally okay. Oh, yeah, I should plug this into my Switch, actually, shouldn't I? Professors do love a telegram, don't they? Yours sounds just like my old one. My office, when you need to talk about your work. Like we're still at school. I'm sure you're not really in trouble. It's mad, isn't it? All these old men having a final say over our future, deciding whether our work's good enough. How it all rests on that one final paper we need just to get anywhere. I know. I, I, I know. I wish they'd actually come and see me teaching. I, I don't know why they don't. And I'd love to go and see other lecturers if I were them. I should do it more often. Uh, you'd be welcome to come to mine. Thank you. Uh, if there's space, perhaps. But how many students make it to them? Oh, uh, uh, hundreds. Just <laughs> boatloads. Undergraduates. Trains of students. Uh, um, maybe you'll see for yourself. Maybe I will. Oh. oh, there's a red light up ahead. I suppose I can get a little more work done. Um, let me know when we're coming up to the bright lights of Cambridge, won't you? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Can do. I lied, by the way. Well, you, uh, shoot, you'll find that out. That's a spoiler. <laughs> Definitely hundreds of students. Hundreds of students coming up. It's now we're back in the Antarctic. So I really like the way that the game so far kind of bounces between this very 
dreary moment we have here, you know, of not knowing if we're going to survive or not. And kind of giving you these, like, these little moments of, like, something to push through, something to be excited about. Oh, and I went the wrong way. Another thing I wanted to mention, too, is that this game originally released on the Apple Arcade, and now it's finally coming to Switch. And I think, like, this kind of game is perfect for that platform. Something, like, quick that you can pick up and play, maybe just spend a few hours with. Because I don't believe the game's super long, either. Which, honestly, these days is my... Like, I don't know about you, but I prefer shorter games to longer ones. But just because I feel like I have... Hello? The more time I sit around and play something, sometimes it's Hello? like, oh, I should be doing the dishes or laundry or organizing something. But now we found, we found like a base camp of sorts. We're going to go in. Breaking down the door. Also, I've completely forgotten what our main character's name is. And the person that we met on the train. Forgot their name as well. Hello? So could somebody remind me when we get here? to that point? That'd be great. When we when we learn it again. Transitions are so, so good. Do come so and see me perfect. if you have any questions on the lecture. One or two would be nice. You can leave if you like. It's over. Oh, yeah, there is somebody up there. Do you have a question? I do, in fact. Uh, yes? Are we allowed to visit other people's lectures? Oh, oh, it's you. Um, I, I didn't see you up there. You decided to come. I did. Uh, liked it? I didn't think you're too bad. Huh. Well, um, I'm glad you thought so. The others don't seem to care so much. Make a run for it as soon as they can. Well, they're a loss. I wouldn't worry. People all seem a bit jumpy at the moment. I found it fascinating. Finding a way to trace the paths of all the world's clouds across the sky. It, it is fascinating, you're right. It's quite poetic, I thought. Oh, you were paying attention too. In, in theory, it, it's great. It's, um, just need to prove it's possible. It's, uh, taking a while. A wonderful subject for your paper, I would have thought. <clears throat> yes, you would have thought. Well, I've had no luck with mine, if it's any consolation. Just getting anything approved is a nightmare. Still, they can't say no once they've found my beautiful subject, like you. It's true, I am a, an excellent subject. A subject now? <laughs> Hang on, Dr. Hamilton hasn't finished in here yet. Sorry about that, a bit too keen sometimes. Are they all here for your lecture? Yes. You'd be welcome to stay if you like. I don't know if you're going to have a room, though. That uh, seemed like a lot of people. Well, why, why not? Thank you. Wonderful. I'll just go see to this mob and give you time to gather your people. I wonder if those were choices that we made up top, like important choices. Because that one symbol was of a person like wearing a suit almost. And then there was one earlier that we saw that had uh, so like a cap and gown. And now he chose to stay versus leave. So, man. Well, now we're back at the, at the cabin and we've been here for 30 seconds. I just haven't acknowledged it. And it looks like something bad happened almost because there's coffee maybe that spilled. Maybe, maybe they were playing a board game almost to pass the time. Uh, and there's something smoking on the uh, on the fireplace here, almost maybe an ashtray. Oops. 
Okay. So now we have some choice. We can kind of go up or down. Those, I think those are dog houses actually over there. Yeah, yeah, let's go check those out. Maybe some huskies? I wanna see some puppies, please. Where are the puppies? Can we pet the dogs? Okay, we cannot interact. But hopefully we will encounter the dogs eventually. I don't know this. Please don't hold me to that. I do not know. I just hope there are dogs. They wouldn't put dog houses and not put dogs, right? But I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. So now we're back to getting our lecture or our paper talked about. We can see our character's reflection in the window too. That was really nice. Nice touch. Oh, yes, Peter. Peter's our character's name. Maybe. I'm so observant. Can we do anything here for now? Maybe not. Maybe we'll come back here. Or maybe I missed something. It's the thing with adventure point-and-click style games is sometimes something is lying right in front of your face and you have no idea okay yeah let's leave for now we'll go around the corner Love that you leave tracks too. When oh, they went up the path there, okay. I have no idea what that big thing is right there, but if somebody knows, please let me know in the comments below. That giant the thing that looks like it scares away demons <laughs> or spirits in the top left there oh, if we could drive this to go pick up our friend that would be just peachy okay it's locked Wait, was that a dog maybe that was just the sound of a uh, sound of the door handle yeah if there was a dog in there we would we would know some propane over there. Propane tanks, looks like. Hello? Nobody. What? I guess maybe they... Maybe they took the dogs. Went sledding somewhere. Mm, so a puzzle of sorts now, maybe? Okay. So we need to probably turn it on. Uh, yeah, okay, so we spin until we find a station. Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Come in. Hello? Wow, that was that was quick. I said you can come in. Doors open. Peter. Oh, chill out, buddy. Oh, Peter. Oh, hello there. Peter is his name. Sorry. Ah, good to see some work being done. Good show. My goodness, it's gloomy in here. No, do sit down. You, you got my note, I presume? I did. Well, I'm sure you've been very busy, which explains why I haven't heard from you. So, seems I have to come and pay you a visit instead. Still plugging away, I see. Mind if I take a look? Uh, of course. <clears throat> and most of them are, are, are just uh, weather readings from my contact in South America. Not much to read yet. You will tell me when you've got something, won't you? As your professor, I do need to be kept abreast of things. You'll be the first to know, I assure you. I do hope so. Good grief! 
I'm not surprised you're getting nothing done with all this racket. What, what is it this time? Oh, more of them today, I see, getting ready for another march, I suppose. I can't quite believe how many women are out there. But the more they let in, the less serious studying seems to get done in this place. This guy not needs to go in the garbage. Work, I fear. I think we have our villain. See why they want to join this band of Soviet sympathizers. Sounds like a peaceful protest. Not doing anyone any harm. Well, you know what I mean. Anyone who's for nuclear disarmament is anti-British, as far as I can see. I can't stand all this politics in my college. I wanted to talk to you about that, in fact. To me? That's right. Sit down. What worries me is that all that is distracting people from the very good academic work we do here. This is where I really do need your help, Peter. What can I do about it? As you know, I have some friends in high places. I need to I'm not going to give this guy any kindness. This college deserves to survive, deserves the reputation we've built over the years. Now, there's a lot of talk suggesting we're a soft touch breeding ground for communists. I need to show we're serious about what we do and what I need from you is something publishable. You think I'm not working hard enough? It might look slow, but I I'm working as fast as I can, I assure you. I don't doubt it. Make sure it is good, something first rate. This is a great institution, Peter. I need to prove its worth, and I need you to prove yours too. Prove my worth? It's been three years now. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying? Completely. I I'll do my best. It will be a first-rate piece of work. Thank you. I look forward to And by that, I am referring to I'm my weather sure piece. I'm sure you're hoping you don't have to stay in this dark little room forever. And I'm sure you'll rather leave it after a well-deserved promotion. Could open the windows a bit, That's maybe. Right. Oh, uh... No, one more, one more thing. thing. Get out of here. The atmosphere here. Things have been a little fraught. You must have noticed. It's not just those protests that I'm concerned about. You know all about the business with the Cambridge Four, I presume. I, I don't, actually. You don't? No. A Soviet spyry, recruited right here in Cambridge, passing secrets to the Russians for years, and we knew nothing about it. The papers are having a field day with it. They used to hang for things like this. Well, thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Yes. Yes, we can't stop the world from moving on. They think the Cambridge Four. Might now be the Cambridge Five. You think it's me? They still don't know who the fifth member is yet. I need to be absolutely sure we are on our guard. Uh, so okay. I'd like you to keep an eye out. You would tell me if you saw anything suspicious, wouldn't you? I can trust you on that. Absolutely. Uh, you can trust me. Glad to hear it. I'll see myself out. You carry on. Why are people like this? Like, there are real humans out there that do that, and that's awful. What a crazy human. It's Peter here. Peter. Peter, thank God you made it. Are you there? Is there a doctor? Can someone come and pick me up? I could, but there's no doctor here. But well, there's, there's nobody here. The place is abandoned. Hello? Uh, that's impossible. They have, to, they have to have someone stationed here all year round. Floyd, it's not just that the place is empty. Ev everyone's things are here. There are just no people. It's like, they, it's like they're left. vanished. Well, they might be out on some kind of exercise, a research trip, something like that. Take them a vehicle and hit it out. 
Well, maybe, but there's a vehicle here that's been abandoned too. That doesn't sound right. And wherever they went, they, they went in a hurry. Uh, there's footprints everywhere, and they left a mess in their living quarters. What kind of mess? Broken glass, uh, an overturned chair, that sort of thing. Yeah. Maybe, or or maybe there was an emergency. Someone got sick or something. I... Oh, listen to me. I don't like the sound of this. I want you to get out of there as quick as you can. You hear me? Is there gonna be, there gonna be a monster? Is this game gonna turn into the okay, thing? I'll, I'll wrap it up and I'll come back. Really quick. No, no, don't come back, Peter. It took you two hours to get there. You come back here, and then where are we? Back to square one. If we can find a way to get the car. I guess they could have been kidnapped. Attacked? This is a research station. Who would attack this place? Soviets. Soviets? Here? The Cold War hasn't been so cold around here recently. People are ticky. I've heard stories of shots being fired. And you can kill a dozen men down here and no one will know about it. You're being paranoid, Floyd. I've met the guys who work at Deception Point, mate. They run a tight ship. It's not like them to leave it completely deserted without telling anyone. And now you're telling me there are signs of a struggle? You can't rule it out. Sure. Okay, okay. Well, then I'll come back and we'll make another plan. No. No, there's a chance I can raise someone from here. But if you come back and I can't, then we're back at square one. They'd have to have us both on their case. Look, I'll keep trying on the radio. I feel like someone might hear. What about you? Someone might hear the radio. Maybe there'll be a, a yeah a map. There's a map. Or a deception. Hmm. I, I can see where I am. The base at Deception Point. Or is that They're cathedral rock or something? Do you know what they are? I'm, I'm guessing they're not a threat like the Soviets. Don't worry, Norwegians are allies. They'd help us. Just pray there'll be someone there when you arrive. You mentioned there was a vehicle. Have you got keys? Okay. Oh, yeah. Them. They must have been kidnapped. This is not good. All right, we're looking for, um, for the cathedral rock. Up ahead, there's, there's some kind of huge rock marked on here. A c cathedral rock. Cathedral Looks rock. Like the highest point around. Maybe I'll be able to see the Norwegian base from there. Sounds like that's your first destination. Uh, Got weapon. My hands. That's all. Well, don't go searching for one if there's nothing else in there. You don't know when they might come back. I get to the vehicle and head to that rock as quickly and as quietly as quiet. you can, right? We're going to be quiet sure about you it. Send those flares up so I can find you again. Floyd, are you still there? Uh, uh, sorry, I hit the roof, my leg. Look, don't hang about, Peter. Get going, for Christ's sake. I'll keep broadcasting on this frequency when I can. Try and pick it up again when you get to the base. I will, and, and remember those flares. I heard you. Look, I've got to go. You just get to that cathedral rock. Over and out. Well, the crazy thing now that sucks too is like we could... I mean, I, I don't think the game would allow us to. But... Technically, we could, <laughs> if we were Peter, we could drive back with the car and pick up Floyd, but then who's going to be able to use the radio to contact and like, that's just not a good idea. So we have to go out to, we have to use Cathedral Rock to go to the Norwegians and hope that somebody there can help us go get Floyd and heal him, but yeah, heal, uh, fix, fix him up.
I should use a video game term, but I guess that's what this is. But I don't want to spill too much more of the story. Obviously, if you enjoyed it, then you can go pick it up yourself. It's available on the Nintendo Switch eShop right now for 10% off up until August 8th. And like I said, too, there are a bunch of other 11-bit studios games on sale as well. So if you enjoyed this, just go check it out. And of course, let us know in the comments down below if South of the Circle looks like your kind of game. Let us know if you've played it before on the Apple Arcade when it released there, or if you're going to be picking it up. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then why don't you make sure to not crash land that subscribe button into the middle of the Antarctic, land it very nicely on a runway, and go home. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you again to 11-Bit Studios for sponsoring this video. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. Stay safe out there, and we will see you all next time.